Now, ladies and gentlemen, from Clanetley, the light middleweight champion of Wales, Carlo Colaruso. Oh, Carlo Colaruso, then the Welsh light middleweight champion. Big and chance for him here. Ladies and gentlemen, the former welterweight champion of the world, Lloyd Hannigan. Lloyd Hannigan, the former undisputed world welterweight champion. At the weigh-in today, Colaruso scaled 11 stones and half a pound. Hannigan, 11 stones, 2 pounds. The referee for this contest, Mr. Tony Walker. The timekeeper, Mr. Nick White. So, a 10-round light middleweight contest in front of us. Lloyd Hannigan, the former undisputed world worldweight champion. Marking time here, hoping for another crack at some version of the championship. Aiming, I think, principally for Mickey Hughes' Commonwealth Championship. But also a return with Gianfranco Rossi, the IBF light middleweight champion. And Hannigan wearing very unorthodox footwear here. Don't quite know why. Colaruso, short, stocky, but a good puncher. Had some very interesting fights. And this should be within Hunnigan's capabilities. He's not half the force he used to be. Hunnigan in the black trunks and the training shoes as opposed to boxing boots. And Colorusso will be in here with a puncher's chance, no doubt. And they're going to pro now for 12 years. Colorusso has been a pro since 89 and always found it rather difficult to get fights. Dangerous banger. The first one is Welsh Championship with a win in three rounds over Gary Pemberton. It's caused a lot of controversy. They've got a return. And this time, Colorusso won in eight. Made one defence against Russell Washer. And the last fight for Carlo was in June of 92. He beat Newton Barnett on a six-round retirement in Portugal on the Eubank Air. Last time out, Hunnigan stopped Mickey Duncan in three rounds in this ring. And the glory days of 1986 look to be well behind Lloyd these days. If you remember rightly, knocked, he stopped Don Curry in six rounds to become an undisputed world away champion. In fact, became Britain's first man in recent times to regain a world title. Remember rightly, he lost it on a technical decision to Jorge Vaca. A clash of heads and the scorecards were totted up and two of the judges had Vaca ahead at the time. But Hannigan wasted no time in the return, knocking out Vaca in three rounds to regain his World Weight Championship. Well, both men sparring for opening in this first. Colorusso is not a single punch knockout artist, but a very hard punch. It does gain respect, and they thud home. And it's work like this that's going to give Colorusso the edge in this first round, I think. Got a laid back start from Hunnigan. Well, custom Colorusso just nicked the first. Lloyd Hunnigan first became British champion. He won on points over Cliff Gilpin. The man he remembers being one of his toughest fights ever. That was way back in 83. Made his first defence against Gilpin as well. Same result. And he won his European title. A third round win. A knockout in Italy. Over Gianfranco Rossi for the European welterweight title. And defended against one of my old foes, Sylvester Mitty. Beat Sylvester in eight. Then, of course, came that glorious night when he beat Don 
10 seconds. Seconds out, round two. Hunnigan's reign as worldweight champion was finally brought to an end. In 1990, Mark Breland bounced him off the canvas several times to win in three rounds. Round two, then of a scheduled 10 light middleweight contest. 11 stone this one was made at. and clipping away here in round two. remembered as one of the sharpest and most savage welterweights this country's or Britain's ever produced. In his heyday, Ooh, lovely right hand, and that one did catch Colorusso, but Colorusso straight back on the action. Completely undaunted by that, and I wonder how Hunnigan will feel. Just landed a cracking punch, just to find his man coming straight back, two-handed. And that's made Hunnigan think. Carlo had a couple of good fights with uh, my old mate Kevin Hayde down in Wales. Hayde at the time, Britain's only fighting promoter. And a good right against Mulligan. And a left hook. And that one wobbled Carlo Russo. And he's on the floor now. And I think it was the final left hook that did it. He's up and he's OK. Russo is incredibly game to the point of being reckless almost, chin up in the air. Of course, the last thing a fighter loses is his punching power. If anything, it's, it tends to get better with the years. So a good second round for Lloyd Hannigan to even things up in round, but uh, may just get that one by a full point. Fellow who's so managed by Cass Davis from Clanethley in South Wales. It's always a word I hate to say. See that knockdown again, a right hand. Good body punch from Hunnigan. And Lloyd these days, I understand, dabbling in the music business. Don't quite know what he's doing. Ten seconds. Seconds out, round three. So round three then, of a scheduled ten. And Conor Russo felt the weight of Hunnigan's punches. Now he's switched to South for Lloyd. And I think this switch to South for might confuse Hunnigan more than it will Conor Russo. He has no respect either way. Ooh, a good shot again from Hunnigan and a touchdown for Conor Russo. So Hunnigan picking up in this third, where he left off in the second.
course, age has got a terrible habit of wearing down a fighter's durability. Old saying, you can kid Mother Nature, but you can't fool Father Time. The Hunnigan doesn't want to get reckless here. Nice uppercut. Colorusso working hard, Hannigan looking for one single punch. Good body work from Hannigan, but uh, possibly one low there. Yep, Tony Walker warns him for that. with a couple of good right hands. Oh, so Daisy, and I think the Welsh champion, yes he did, he went in with his head. I never like to see that. It's a hard enough game when it's done legally without illegal infringements like uh, head butting. Carlo's problem here as he's failing to land with a well-timed punch to the head. Well, oh, the end of the round, and Hunnigan warned for a shoulder there as the bell goes. Well, there wasn't much in it. Both had their moments there, but I think Hunnigan's probably taken it because of the knockdown in the beginning of the round. But this is an interesting confrontation, and it gives us a chance to see how much Lloyd has got left, now trained by Kevin Sanders. Still managed, of course, by Mickey Duff, and assisted by Denny Mancini. Just a touchdown, just a touchdown there from Colorusso. Round four coming up then. And for those of you who don't know, the referee is in sole charge of who wins this. No judges in British boxing, except of course in European title fights when two are assisting the scoring referee. And, of course, three independent officials appointed in world title fights. But British and Commonwealth title fights are refereed purely by the referee, as I say, scored by the referee. But Hannigan's always going to have an edge, I think, with his uh, harder single punches. Hooks from Hunnigan as Coloroso tries to back him up into the ropes. And Carlos showing a few lumps around the left eye. And Carlo, I think originally from uh, Italian descent, always gets a good crowd when he boxes down in Wales. Nice left hook from Hunnigan. Of course, it would be interesting to see Hunnigan face Andy Till for the British title. Well, 
But once again, Colorusso doing a lot of work here, but Hunnigan's is more effective, I think. both hands thumping into the body of the Welshman. And I remember a cracking fight that uh, Carlo had as that round comes to a finish. And once again, Hunnigan's taken it, I think. Cracking fight that Carlo had with Nigel Moore in London in November of 90. And he lost on points to Moore, having flattened Nigel, I think, in round five or four. And it was a good fight, and I'm rather pleased to say I made the match. Another good win for Carlo was over the uh, smart boxing southpaw, Ray Webb. Also beat Sammy Sampson in three rounds. Fought Cornelius Carr a couple of times, lost on both occasions. So he's been around the rings, but nowhere near as much of, uh, as Hunnigan, of course. He comes into this one with 39 wins, 26 of them inside the distance, and only three losses. Second half, round five. When you think the only three men to have beaten Hunnigan, Vacker, Starling and Breland, Round five. And again, a couple of rounds in front after four. There's some good action here, toe-to-toe -to -toe stuff. I think Hunnigan, though, has got his rhythm more than Colarusso. And that's why his punches, of course, are connecting where Carlos seem to be whizzing over the head and around the side. Nice punches from Hunnigan once again, and uh, Carlo staggered by that. interesting to see Hunnigan against a British opponent. One way of gauging how much he has left. <laughs> Coloroso showing nine wins and five losses. Five of his wins coming inside the distance. To say it can't compare to Hunnigan's record. Nice left hook from Carlo Colarusso. It's another hard working round from both men. Hunnigan forced to fight this way. Colarusso staying right on top of him. Once again, I think uh, an interesting round and not much to pick between them. 
so possibly an even there in the fifth five more to go Hannigan three in front or two in front I should say on my card anyway Big slashing right hand followed by the left from Hunnigan in replay. And they're the ones that staggered Colorusso for a few seconds. Same combination from the overhead camera. Colorusso doing well to stay on his feet there. Second round, round six. So the halfway stage then. Lloyd Hunnigan former undisputed worldweight champion of the world in action against the Welsh champion Carlo Colarusso in the red trunks Carlo's hit the deck twice already one was just a touchdown and he's come through some pretty vicious punching exchanges from Hunnigan still there again from Hunnigan and Hunnigan I think would love to get rid of Colarusso this has proved to be a tough fight for Lloyd well looks like referee Tony Walker is going to stop it on a cut well looks like a pretty nasty cut on Colarusso's right eye and he doesn't want to be stopped and I think Hunnigan was saying let him go on ref well it looks like uh, Colarusso's game effort has come to an abrupt end here in round six he's trying to settle Carlo down well he's disappointed no doubt Oh, that's the way it should finish. After one minute, 23 seconds of round six, ladies and gentlemen, Colarusso has sustained a cut over the right eye. The referee has stopped the contest. The winner, ladies and gentlemen, Lloyd Hannigan. So Hannigan gets it in one minute, 23 seconds of round six. But a game performance there. And Hannigan keeps Colo the uh, wagon rolling.